Let's turn to the other big story tonight. Richard Fadden is sticking by his comments. He won't resign. And the CSIS director says he has no reason to apologize for what he said in an exclusive interview on The National, specifically that some Canadian politicians have fallen under foreign influence. As the CBC's James Cudmore tells us, Fadden really has only one regret. James. Heather, Richard Fadden was unflappable today as he faced MPs who demanded the CSIS director appear before them and explain what he meant when he said some Canadian politicians are under the influence of foreign states. Richard Fadden brushed past a crowd of tourists and into the Parliament buildings where he would face a grilling from MPs. I start from the premise that uh, this is not a desirable outcome. Not desirable to be hauled before a committee in the middle of summer. But Fadden had no intention of taking back anything he said. I would argue it is good public policy for Canadians to be more attuned to the threats that the country faces. The circumstances in which all of this became public is one that I regret. Last March, the National taped a speech Fadden delivered at a Toronto dinner. There are ministers of the Crown. It was there Fadden first said cabinet ministers in two provinces were under the sway of foreign governments. Fadden told MPs he forgot he was being taped. Nonetheless, a few months later, in a long scheduled interview, Fadden repeated the remarks. In the case of a couple of cabinet ministers, we're in the process of discussing with the centre how we're going to uh, inform those provinces. The centre being? Uh, sorry, the Privy Council Office, the Prime Minister's Department. The next day, the Prime Minister's Office said that wasn't so. Fadden was forced to clarify his remarks. Today, Fadden clarified them once more. I said I had a couple of cases that I was worried about. It may involve the provinces and to do... Who, sir, did you speak to in the Privy Council office? The National Security Advisor. MPs accused Fadden of breaking the spy agency's rules by publicizing its concerns. I cannot find the section of the CSIS Act that gives CSIS a mandate to launch a public relations campaign. And smearing the name of politicians across the land. You've created great consternation and anxiety, unwarranted suspicion an unfounded stain on every municipal elected official in British Columbia and indeed every provincial cabinet minister in the country. Do you acknowledge that, sir? No, sir, I do not. If I had simply said there is foreign interference in Canada, you ladies and gentlemen would all be at your holidays right now. But the by going public with his concern, intelligence expert Wes Wark says the CSIS director has made a terrible political error. Uh, in terms of putting out information in the public domain before there are government decisions being made and government statements being made about such things. You know, that's to take us into the realm of activities of, of, of the like that the Stasi or the KGB used to be. Heather, tonight Richard Fadden is refusing to resign and he says CSIS is about to deliver a secret intelligence report to the government detailing that foreign influence he told the CBC about out, naming the names and the nations of those involved. James Cudmore reporting tonight from the nation's capital.